to our web series. Uh, this is the second part of our SSL certificate demonstration. So we will be creating a self-signed certificate on our FF virtual edition appliance and then we will create a profile for the SSL certificate for both client side and server side. Then we will attach the created profile SSL certificate to the respective virtual server created uh, on the ATM module. So <clears throat> before we start, uh, I just want to uh, display or demonstrate you what are the types of SSL certificate as we discussed earlier. Uh, when we are importing the SSL certificate, there are mainly uh, two types. Uh, one is a TFX bundle where all the individual components are combined and a bundle is provided by the network administrator or the system administrator and the other is the certificate and key which will be used to make a profile and then the following steps will be carried on. So on the system module uh, as you can see there are many options. So you can see there is a certificate management sub module. So when we click on that you can see the panel of certificates. So in my case we are creating a self signed certificate for the lab demonstration purpose. So we will click on create. So as you can see as you can see there are the following fields and you may wonder what are the things uh, required for the self signed certificate to create. So for the ease of use purpose uh, I have opened a manual chapter of official F5 website so the respective certificate in the general properties there is a name field and on the certificate properties there are issue user common name division organization locality state or provenance country email address lifetime subject alternative name fields and on the key properties you can choose the key type and the size used to encrypt or create the self signed certificate so the following are the options rsa dsa and ecdsa and the size you can customize as you wish so i'll leave all the things on default and for the more information uh, you can see from the issue in the self signed certificate there is a name a unique name for the ssl certificate from the issue list select self in the common name field uh, we need to type a name in the division field there's a company name in the organization field there's the department name locality field city name in the state or provenance field type a state or provenance name from the country list select the name of the country an email address and lifetime field is the number of days to retain so the default value is 365 in the subject alternative name you can type the name which is embedded in the certificate of x509 extension process by assigning this name you can provide multiple host names with a single ssl certificate from the key list as i have mentioned there are three options and from the code name list select a code name possible values are prime to 56 version 1 and secp 384r1 so we will create a self sign certificate now so in the name we will create a uh, since I'll, this is a self signed certificate. We can create a customized name. So let's create DNS self signed SSL. So on the division, it's a company. So as you can see, on the division, there's a company name, and in the organization field, that's the department name. So you can take this thing as a reference when creating the self science certificate. So, on the division name, we will keep digital network solution. On the organization, there's the department. So, this is application sec team. We just give it an adsec. <coughs> on the locality, which is about city name we are currently residing in Kathmandu and state of provenance so it will be I think that's provenance 3 so email address 
I'll give it a default. I'll leave the thing this field as default and about this it's not so I'll keep on finished. Since this is a self-signed certificate, so if we if we need to configure if you need to create a self-signed if you need to sorry if you need to create a certificate using DFX model, you just need to click on import and there you can see there are various options. Uh, so this one is DKCS is the DFX bundle file. So you can click on choose file and navigate to the file where your PFX bundle resides. And if the PFX bundle has been encrypted, then you need to use the password in order to use the PFX bundle for the SSL certificate process. So similarly, if you if you click on import, then you can see there is certificate archive key. So in certificate, you can import a certificate. You can give a name and certificate source. You will choose and navigate the file as before, like a PFX bundle. If you have just certificate and key, uh, mostly the organization has certificate and key. Uh, so if if you don't possess any, if you don't have any PFX bundle, so then you can manually create a SSL certificate using just the certificate and key and intermediate chain. So after the successful successfully importing the required components for the SSL certificate creation, you can. You can go to LTM module that is local traffic and on the profile section you need to create in navigate to SSL. So here now what it is telling is that you need to create two SSL certificate. If you want to uh, go through the approach of SSL bridging where the traffic is first decrypted by the server and it is analyzed and after all the analysis is complete and nothing malicious traffic is been found by the F5 through its uh, possessed source signatures of the malicious traffic then it will re-encrypt the same traffic and direct to the server for the response so for the, for the complete lab demonstration purpose we are we will for the complete lab demonstration purpose, we will be creating both SSL client and SSL server certificate or profile. So first, we'll click on client, then we'll click on create. So I'll be creating like let us create so SSL client. So this is will be the the parent profile parent prof profile client SSL means it is the default uh, profile of the of this the parent profile means that the profile which I'll be creating poses the all the uh, configuration of the client SSL profile. So all the required. Uh, things or components required for the SSL certificate profile is possessed by the client SSL. You can also change the parent profile as you wish but I'll be creating, I'll be leaving this thing as default. So on the configuration settings you can click on custom and then you can either you can add certificate keychain and these are all the things. So I will add certificate chain so since i have created a cell sign certificate so this will be used key and can the certificate uh, there is no any so what this thing denotes is that certificate 
is the main certificate uh, provided by the server which will be used to verify that the server is uh, the requested server is the legendary server and the other is key and the chain which is an intermediate certificate and if all these things are encrypted then you need to need you need to put the password in order to use the certificate so i'll give an add so once everything has been done so i'll leave other the other things as default so i'll give it finished Similarly, I'll click on server and on the server side, I'll click on create. So the same name, but exploit what this will be. Okay, so I'll give you custom. I'll give you the certificate will be used as DNS and certificate and the key DNS So you may come with a, you may come with the questions like why there is not any intermediate certificate option for the server so the server doesn't need the intermediate certificate it's actually required for the client and during the process of verification of the server on the server side it just needs sort key certificate and key in order to decrypt the incoming traffic for the response so the other all the other things are left as the default so we will leave this and click on finished. So after creating the SSL certificate profile for both client and server, now we will go to the virtual server list and so what we will be doing is we will attach the Metasploit uh, SSL certificate on the Metasploit virtual server. So we click on Metasploit portal server and as you navigate as you go through, down you can see there is HTTP profile and HTTP profile server and on the right here you will see SSL profile client and SSL profile server so as you can see we, the profile we have created should be here um, right here. So this is the client side. So we will click on Metasploit SSL client, and the other is server. So that will be um, Metasploit SSL server. So the all the other things are left as unchanged. So we will click on update. Now, just we will verify that SSL profile and SSL server the certificate are imported, and that's it. So, this is all the this is so this is the things which will be so these are the steps which will be doing during the configuration of SSL certificate on F5 appliance. Thank you for watching. Web series.